our DIY duck studio. Super excited. Don't mind the mess in here. What's up, Feelings fam? Welcome back. Let me shut this door. Beautiful day, finally. Something we've been waiting weeks for, and we have a million things we gotta get done today. So, as you can see, the ducks have moved into a new enclosure. Really excited because they were just getting too messy in there. So they have their own enclosure. Um, something I am gonna show you guys pretty soon, I've been wanting to finish, is the DIY duck pond that we were doing. We built a really cool filter for it. Uh, the pump that we were using was a solar pump. Unfortunately, right near the end of the video, it just crapped the bed, stopped working. It wasn't the greatest pump. So we ordered a new one, much stronger, better. So we will finish that. You are gonna see that soon. But the whole reason for this video today is we are building the ducks a brand new DIY studio apartment. And it's gonna be so cool. I'm really excited, guys. Hope you stay tuned. That is basically what we're building. Oh, show them over here. Look, guys. Any of the OGs that have been around for last year's pool pond for the big fish, make sure you comment down below. This is gonna blow that one away. As you can see, uh, last year's was a 12 footer. This is a 17 foot pool. I'm excited, but it is gonna take up a lot more room. So we are measuring it out. We're making plans. I cleaned up everything here. Got it all ready. Got some sand to put underneath. I'm excited for that. Make sure you stay tuned. But today's built. We are gonna do this. It's gonna be a really, are you excited? <laughs> what are you so excited for? He said peace. Oh, peace? Like yeah, that's at the end. <laughs> Uh, it's gonna be a real simple build, guys. You'll be able to follow along. If you do wanna skip through, you can. I don't recommend it though, because we are giving another gift card away. So make sure you stay tuned for that. So without further ado, I'm gonna get started. Oh, one last thing, guys. I know I keep switching all around. So we got a really cool DIY greenhouse that we're doing and we're almost finished with it and that video will be coming out. We had mentioned earlier, we were thinking of splitting off and doing another channel for all DIY stuff, but I don't know if we're gonna do that. We might just keep everything lumped in. Let me know below if you would be interested in seeing a, a DIY greenhouse build. Oh, the main reason for the greenhouse is because we're uh, gonna be growing all of our food for the chickens and the turtles and everybody else. So again, might be something you guys are interested in, so let me know, but that's coming. So without further ado, let's get this studio apartment built for these ducks. Peace! No, no. <laughs> Do the explode, ready? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're starting the frame now for anybody following along. We're gonna cut two two by fours directly in half at four feet. So the next cuts are two feet, nine inches, and we're gonna cut four of them as well. So now we're gonna drill the frame together. Again, it's, you need four four foot two by fours and four cuts of two feet by nine inches. think clover what do you think of the duck's place so that is the first part of the frame you're gonna just duplicate that up on top and then we'll show you how to put them together what you want to say hi to clover hi, hi clover. clover hi clover hi clover so once you have your two frames built you stop for a klondike bar what would you do for a Klondike bar, but um, or you can play in water table. <laughs> George, you're a little wet. Oh, it's so nice having nice days out. So, but in all seriousness, guys, once you have the two frames built, if you remember watching our uh, chicken coop DIY build, it's very similar. You have the two frames, and now you're going to be building the four posts that come up and that the top sits on. Hard to hear because they're yelling. <laughs> so these cuts, two of them are going to be exactly two feet, and two of them are gonna be one foot, 10 inches, and that is so that the roof has a little bit of a pitch to it. So this is the front of the house. No, the condo, the apartment studio. And uh, so you're just gonna screw the front right into the side here. Sweet, so the two two foot pieces go right in the front. And then again, this one is just two inches shorter so that the, the uh, roof has a little bit of a pitch to it. Okay, so the next two cuts are for the floorboard and for the roof. 
we are using, I don't know if you noticed, but we're using what's called OSB. It's called strand board. It's just a little bit cheaper than regular plywood. Uh, these cuts are three feet, by the way. Okay, so now you take your roof, put it on top of the frame. You wanna get it all lined up, and then you're gonna just screw it down. Super simple. And we are done with the roof, so you're gonna pick it up. Hopefully I won't need my six month pregnant wife here to help. And you're gonna just place it on top. Ow. <laughs> look at that. Great, look at, look at it's like a little mini house. All right, so, Gray, we were tricking you guys. This is actually your new uh, bedroom. You guys are gonna be outside, okay? Yeah. <laughs> you wouldn't care. So we're almost done. Super cool, super easy build. And again, once you finish with ba the, the basics of this, customize it however you want. Paint it. Uh, we're gonna end up putting some sort of roofing on this to help everything roll off. But guys, super easy build. They're gonna absolutely love it in their new space. Really cool. Let me know what you think. Send some comments down below. There's an alarm going off here. Okay, so all you're gonna do, flip it upside down. Flip it upside down, get some kids, put them inside to hold the weight down and just screw it all into the sides here. What did he say? Screw some kids together. Screw some kids? The most vile thing. All right, so what? All right, so once that's all done, you're gonna put the floor on top, which looks like it's the ceiling. It's not, this is upside down. Get this screwed on and then you flip it over and I mean, you're gonna be done with pretty much the whole, stop it. You're gonna pretty much be done with everything <clears throat> minus the uh, walls. And like I said, if you wanna customize it however you want, go for it. It's a duck house. And there she is. What do you guys think? Super awesome. So one thing you're gonna notice that we did a little bit differently than the other couple we've done. So before we would do the sides in the back on the outside of the two by fours, I wanted to switch it up and do it on the inside. It took a little bit more and the measurements are a little bit different, but I love it. I think it looks a little bit nicer this way. Let me go ahead and open it up here. Again, we need to put a handle on there, but take a look guys, what do you think? I think it has plenty of room, so we're gonna probably put some hay in there. We're gonna paint the bottom. Um, I'll quickly give you the measurements here. So on the sides, the length of this is going to be 32 and three quarters inches. Um, so this is the one tricky part because of the slant. So at the front, it's 17 inches. At the back, it's just about 15. So you gotta measure and then cut at a little bit of a slant. Both sides worked out to be the same. Um, the back, let me read tell you real quick what this is so the back was 45 exactly in length and then 15 in height and uh, the front was a little bit different obviously because it was that so it's 45 in length but the front in width was 17 uh, so basically we put that on and then cut it in half and put our hinges on and we're gonna put a uh, a handle on that as well. One thing guys, I want you to make sure to do, make sure you subscribe down below because there's going to be a part two to this where you see the final product of this with the roof, with the handle, with the nice little glaze on it, painted up. This will be inside their new housing area, pen, whatever you want to call it, duck pen. Um, it'll be in there and we'll give you a little tour when everything is complete. So this is pretty much a DIY duck apartment studio whatever you want to call it this thing is sweet they are gonna love this look at that what do you guys think pretty cool huh all right guys so two last things before we finish up here for today i appreciate it I hope you guys love this build our gift card giveaway for this video make sure comment down below duck studio that's what i want you to comment down below whoever we pick for the winner in the next video 
We will shout you out and let you know. Now, without further ado, let's get to our good vibe shout out for this episode. It's going to Basement Lagoon who said, hey, love your videos. My Oscar only eats shrimp pellets and salad shrimp and cucumbers. I appreciate that. I responded to you, Basement, but really cool. I am gonna try the cucumbers. I gotta get some. Um, one little thing I did try after uh, putting this in there, I had some algae wafers that were homemade from somebody. Really cool. They have all like kale and stuff built in. She absolutely loved them and all of the uh, catfish loved them. Real quick, you're gonna see a little clip. I'm gonna put this in there, put the wood chips in there, hopefully get them sleeping. And these bugs are atrocious. I gotta get out of here. Make sure you turn your notifications on because you don't wanna miss any of the other videos that have this and the final product of the huge, huge chicken coop as well. Oh, let's see, come on. Corral the ducks. Now, come on. Don't mind the mess in here. Still so much we gotta do. Let's see if they'll go in. Yeah, buddy! One, two, three, four, five, they fit! Super cool, look at that! Awesome, so exciting guys, so really cool. That is our DIY duck studio, super excited, they love it. So many more cool things to do to it. Hope you enjoy. As always, peace! Subscribe below, look at this guy, he won't forget. They always come over to us. We are walking to PetSmart. Very, very small fish. Excellent, guys. Fred is in great shape. Clovis, say hi. Is doing so much better underneath.